Germany, if you're unwilling to reflate your market and take on your responsibility in the rest of the world as a world leader, why are we the only ones that have that responsibility? We are, why are we the only economic engine? We are clearly the biggest. We can say to the, to, uh, to the Germans and our friends in Europe, we're all in this. NATO's important. We stick with NATO. But I'm not sure we need 289,000 American troops at a cost of total cost of $102 billion if you add everything up. Maybe you should do more. Now, if you want to open up your markets, if you're willing to help aggravate, uh, alleviate third world debt, if you'll step in and help Mexico, if you'll step in and help Nigeria, like we are, then we can play. MP Jim! <laughs> I do believe that impeachment is one of the most divisive forces, uh, paths that we could go down to in our country. But if the facts, the path of fi fact finding takes us there, we have no choice. But we're not there yet. It will be a debate about the private affair of the president. It will be a debate about the extramarital affair. It will be a debate that the American public may not necessarily want to hear. But they have been thrust into this debate by members of this House and the Republican Party who are intent and who will stop at nothing to bring down the President of the United States of America. At what point does it change in people like Pelosi and Steny the, Hoyer, the majority leader of the Democrats, when do they say, this guy is really acting like he's king and we got to well, impeach him? Well, you know, I don't know when they will come to that conclusion. If they believe that now is not the time for impeachment. They'll keep trying and they'll go down that road. The American people in the final analysis is going to push on the Congress uh, to do the impeachment. I would vote. I would vote to impeach. Uh, on, what, on what basis? <laughs> uh, because I believe he's committed a crime and people who commit crimes need to be impeached. You said in July that you would, as a member of the House right now, vote to impeach. Have you changed your mind? I haven't. The Constitution of the United States of America places a responsibility on Congress to determine when a president is unfit for office. And in the final analysis, that's where the responsibility lies. It lies with us. And impeachment is the tool by which the Constitution has given us to make that decision and to protect the American people. People see me on the street and they're talking about impeachment. When are you going to impeach? Impeach 45. Impeach 45. I didn't hear you impeach 45. Who are intent and who will stop at nothing to bring down the president of the United States of America.